Okay, hopefully that helped the lag. Okay, there's a dog somewhere. Oh god, I think it sees me! How could it not see me? You're a fool! Hey! Hey, you! Woo! Hey! Hey, come at me, bro! Hey! Hey, doggy! He doesn't care. Um. Now what? Just walk around. Until I die. Kinda wanna lure the dog here. Aha! Hey, doggy! Doggy! Hey, you! Hey! Hey! Hey, come at me! Hey! Hey, come at me! Yeah! Come on, Sven! Huh! Huh! Hit him again, Sven! Hit him again. Where's he gone? Oh, there's so many dogs! There's one over there! Oh, here he comes. Hit this one, Sven! Oh! Oh my god! Hit them again, Sven! Huh! Huh! Here he comes, Sven! Hada! Oh, he's calling for help. Isn't your other friend already here? I mean... Ah! Okay, Sven! Ha! Hit him! They're so angry! You're a bad dog! Bad dog! Hit him, Sven! Ha! Damn it! Come on, Sven! Balls! Hit him now! Good lord! These dogs have nine lives! You're a cat in disguise! They've molded into one! Hideous dog creature! Are they dead, Sven? Did you do it? Thank you. You're so kind, Sven. You keep me safe. This is to auxiliary shaft. So let's go the other way, because I think we have to go to the auxiliary shaft. Ah, Sven, you are my friend. My friend is named Sven. And he is so nice, and he is so good. He keeps me safe from harm. Oh, Sven. Don't ever change the way you are. Um, yeah, so just to the auxiliary shaft. We just have another huge area to explore. I think I'm getting used to the dogs now. There's nothing up here. There's nothing for me there. They don't freak me out quite as much. They still kind of freak me out when they jump at me. They're so angry! Excavation log. Log, secondary excavation site B. Beginning phase 33-8, anno 9000, anno domini 1990. Followed by chief attending chemist, security status nil, anno 9000, phase 338. Today marks the first phase of excavation team B's new assignment, which I will be overseeing. Equipment has arrived and digging should be able to commence within the next few hours. Since the incident leading to the establishment of our facility here, much work has been undertaken in order to ascertain the scope of the discovery. This site, among others, was selected from many possible candidates thanks to powerful divination techniques passed down for many generations amongst the elevated caste, and I feel certain that this wisdom, in combination with our own seismic techniques will prove to be of great success and that our discoveries will be of great importance to the organization. Best of luck, everyone. Anna 9001. Phase 1. While work has been slow up, to an, up until now, the new year is sure to bring with it great prosperity for our team. Perhaps we shall enjoy some of the luck that the other teams seem to already be harvesting. Further routine work reports will be filed in a secondary log. So they kind of seem to be having bad luck. Phase 275. While the routine logbook has been filed many times over the past during, over during, many times over during, 
the past nine moons, there has been so little of interest to report that I find my previously enthusiastic entries to appear as if written by someone else entirely. These logs are not for personal thoughts, but since no one is ever likely to read them, I am probably safe in saying that I sometimes catch myself wishing I had never received this assignment at all. I was still stationed at the main facility. We discovered a tunnel system today, running through the roof of the cave, which caused a minor rock slide, but no serious injuries were sustained. More's the pity. Perhaps if this place became a hazard, we would all be we could all be reassigned. The noises in this mine at night are beginning to play with my mind. That is when you can tell what time of day it is. Phase three hundred and forty one. Although I have now been in charge of Site B for two cycles, this marks my first entry into the excavation log as the new chief attending chemist. Looking through the scarce results filed for the initial year's work, I can see why my predecessor was replaced. In a fraction of that time, I have achieved Team B's first major breakthrough in the discovery of previously unknown substance 63, and the research team has been assigned tasks in record time. I fully expect to... Co I fully expect complete identification of the substance to be available within seven phases. Furthermore, I have conducted an investigation into the noises reported by workers in this area of the mine, in the interest of morale. On nights that I spend here, they, there do indeed appear to be strange human-like cries coming from somewhere deep in the rocks, but there is bound to be some explanation. Yeah, evil. And I know Phase 6. Following the discovery of Sub-63, my team has had a second triumph in the unearthing of Artifact 66B. My team and I will, of course, deal with this finding with our usual level of efficiency. Phase 7. The case has been the case has seen fit to bring in a Zeno team in order to further extract the true nature of the artifact, so they found the artifact. I applaud their foresight in this decision, and would only note that if get if been given the chance, my chemistry team would have performed at least as well in this task. In additional notes, I have completed my analysis of the wailing and chattering sounds reported by those spending large amounts of time in this locale, and conclude that it is a symptom of dehydration. I'm sure that's what it is. Lack of water has caused very mild hallucination, which, combined with quite natural seismic activity, can sound a little like human voices. A little. A little is the key there. A thorough medical examination of the afflicted workers has been recommended, but in the interests of continued work at maximum capacity, I have a though. I have instead ordered increased water supplies and implemented an obligatory three minute water break once every five hours. That's not very often. Especially for miners. <sighs> Phase 9. It came to my attention today that the job of mapping the overhead tunnel system in this cave is long overdue, something overlooked from way back during the first stages of the excavation, sadly before my arrival, for otherwise it would have already been completed. The officer in charge of the Xeno team is increasingly becoming an obstacle to my own team's research. He insists on overseeing perfectly routine tasks when, given the defection of his second in command yesterday, I would suggest his time is better spent taking control of his own responsibilities. At heart, however, I believe him to be a thoroughly devoted follower, which is why I am certain that he would leap at the chance to volunteer for the surveying of the tunnel system. I have tried warning him of the potential hazards, but he simply will not take no for an answer, and asks that I ensure those higher up understand his enthusiasm. Phase 18. In a most disheartening turn, the Chief Xeno Officer has not returned from his brave exploration of the tunnel system. Wow, that was a long time. Phase 24. In the days since the Chief Xeno Officer's foolhardy trespassing into the tunnel system, which now appears to make up the domain for various aggressive local fauna, said creatures have become increasingly hostile, venturing into the excavation site on more than one occasion. This is something which I will be keeping a close eye on. Well, yes, you should. Phase 50. This will be the final entry into the log for excavation site B. Events have forced us to curtail our, way our work. We have taken more than one casualty to the organisms living above this cave system, leaving us no choice but to carry what equipment and documentation we can, abandoning all else. Their attacks have developed a discernible pattern, and we are due another in only a few minutes, so I must hurry. It's ironic. The noises that have been reported since the initiation of this project are still present. 
Except that now, they sound more like laughing. Well, that was a pleasant note. Um, where am I going? This way. Yeah, this way. <laughs> uh. Oh. The area must be the access point to reach further into mine. I know that. That's why it's called Auxiliary Shaft. There's a save. Save! From out the door rises something vast, something terrible. It strikes a man, knocking him down, and those standing by him wither into the darkness. Screaming begins. I think that's supposed to be beings. Still, Father looks on. Is he bringing this? Father, what have you done? Is his father to blame? When I use these now, I feel as if I am not the only one. It's getting crowded in there, like I'm just one visitor of many. Strange thing is, they all seem familiar. Take another little piece of my heart now, baby. Yes. I want that dynamite, please. Take another little piece of my heart, you know you do. What is this? Tell me. A power cabinet. Okay. Uh, is that a plug? Because there was a... This. There was a this. Yay! What did I do? Oh. I need to attach the other end to something. Um. Is this some... What, what, what even is this? Now that's quite a machine. It doesn't come any more industrial size than that. Those teeth at the front look pretty sharp. The whole thing just looks mean. Are we going to dig our way out? This doesn't look as old as some of the other damage to the mine. Bits of rock occasionally come loose from the rubble. So the whole system is just going to collapse, isn't it? What the hell was that? Why would I touch it? Uh, uh, I guess this goes... Aha! It goes here. There. Um. Pull the lever. Well, power's on, but nothing else is on the cards. Fantastic. Fantastic. What do I do? Uh, save. What do I do now? Machine, tell me something. Did you write something? Mining machine needs ignition key. You did write something. Oh, I have the ignition key. Uh, is this something? This looks like a panel. I guess not. Uh, get up here. Where does the key go? What was that? Must have been me. There was somewhere that I had to put petrol to. But where? Where? Where do I put the key? Oh god, please, come on. Give me. Do I put the key on here? Oh, I put the key. <laughs> oh dear. Even with the key, it's not too keen to ignite. There must be something wrong with the machine itself. Well, that's probably what the, the petrol's for. Where do I put it? Do I put it here? It says fuel. The lid on the gas can is rusted shut. I'd better have something that can get it open or I'll be down here for a long time. Just use the hammer on it. Yes, thank you. Okay, as my new friend might say, drink your thirsty drink, you thirsty beast. I don't really think what? You seek to find the truth behind all this mystery, and think it will set you free. But truth is relative, and relatives cannot be trusted to bring good gifts. <laughs> what you seek lies no, I don't like beyond you. this collapsing of the sky, and if you look closely, so do I. A century of days has passed since I saw this area last. The diseased ones sought to kill poor Red, but I took them diseased on a wild ones? poultry chase. They ended dead. 
They came from out the big metal door, but after all my years, I knew the caves more. Hide and seek turned to seek and hide, and I buried them here beneath the solid rock sky. That's a lovely poem. Let's just... <laughs> Go for it. Keep doing this. Okay, I think it's done. Uh, save. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. It starts with an itch and a tingle. I shall name you Sven. And expands. What the hell are you still alive for? My legs won't let me stand I scratch till my fingers go numb